What's going on vendors? Mike here with 720 Vending. Today we are doing a restock and a collection here at my hotel combo machine. We're gonna go ahead and get this open, get it all set up so we can get everything restocked. Chips were doing good, so I didn't do anything up there. But I do keep my popcorn down here on the bottom of the machine, so I will grab some of that out. Um, I do have my card readers on these machines, so it does tell me when it needs. Um, I do know when I need to come do a collection and restock them. On this machine, I have a Cantaloupe ePort um, G11 series. Works great, very reliable. I haven't had any issues with them. Yep, need some need some honey buns in there. It was a slow week at the hotel. But stick around all the way to the end to see how much the machine made. Regardless, this machine does a lot in soda sales. How's your guys' business is doing? Hopefully it's doing well. If you are looking to add card readers to your machines, Cantaloupe is a great way to go, whether it's full line or amusement devices. They've got your hookup on both ends of that. Um, for the full line machines, you've got your ePort Engage or your G11 series uh, cashless kits. Um, for your claw machines, uh, the best one to go with for them is the ePort, um, the Cantaloupe ePort uh, Pulse Kit. And that will connect to your Pulse, car pulse uh, coin mechanisms to give you your credits. Um, any of those um, are available on their shop. Links are down in the description. Um, use the code 720 vending at checkout save you money $30 per card reader no limit on on uh, on how many times you can use it Getting my numbers updated in my Vensoft application um, I have a link down in the description for that as well. I am an affiliate of theirs um, give it a 14-day free trial and I tried them five years ago. I haven't gone back Adding some um, cookies and cream Hershey's bars. They do pretty well here. Has going back to school affected your guys' business? I know it has with mine with some of my machines and they're making a little bit less because there's not as many kids running around or the hotel's not as busy. I think that's looking okay. Or I may put some more crunch bars in there. Nope, looking good. No, I am putting some more crunch bars in there. Um, if you guys can, I would very much appreciate the support. If you can smash that like button, hit the subscribe button and press that bell notification to be notified when new videos come out. I definitely appreciate the support. Don't forget to share the video with your friends. If you, if you like the content, spread the word. Vending is a great thing to do. I'm wearing my quick play shirt from them. They're a great pair of guys. Looking forward to seeing them back in Vegas next year. On to the drink side. more Dr. Pepper in here this week.
as with all channels, like I said, I can't do it without your support. I do appreciate everyone's um, support they have been giving me over the years on this channel. It just needed some Dr. Pepper. Everything else is doing well. There's still plenty of uh, Gatorade in there. Now we're going to get on to everyone's favorite part, the collection. We're going to go ahead and get this machine opened right up on this side. And we're going to get you set up here so we can get this collection going for you. Now this machine does take coins, cash, and credit cards. So this is a total for the whole week. Eh, not much in the way of change. I'll just leave it there for another week. No big deal on that. But for between cash and credit cards, it did $87.75. So that's not a bad week. Plenty of $5 bills in there. I'm sure someone put a $5 bill in there and just got like one item and got the rest back in quarters. Cleaned out my quarter collection. Now we're going to go downstairs to my um, CB300 machine, which is one of my USI workhorses. Um, it is upgraded with an N1 board. As you can tell, it is low on water, low on everything in this machine. So we're going to go ahead and get this machine stocked up. Up first, we're going to do, I think, the Sprite first. This was a couple of weeks ago when I recorded this. Yeah, I've got Sprite, I've got Dr. Pepper in here. This machine, N1, reached out to me to see if they if their new board for their CB5 and 700 series would fit. It does. I just needed to make a few parts for it using my 3D printer. If you are interested in getting that, send me a message. I can get you, I can get you hooked up on that. Um, there is an additional parts kit that N1 does not supply that I do supply. Now we're gonna go ahead and get onto the Dr. Pepper since it's in the back. Close up the Sprite. The only thing I don't like about this style of machine is it's, you gotta load the back columns first. I like it when it's all one, one wall of products. This machine will hold um, for 12 ounce cans times six columns. It'll do 52 cans in each column. Uh, for bottles, it'll do up to 24 in each column. So getting that somewhat loaded, I'm gonna, I think I got some Mountain Dew, I'm not sure. No, I did not bring any Mountain Dew with me this week. So, but it did need water. Water does tend to get jammed on occasion. Um, I did pick these up one week by accident and they sell better. They're the 24 ounce uh, bottles of uh, Arrowhead water with the sport caps on. They do fit in the machine, they do vend. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna knock them. I charge $2 a piece for them. People buy them like crazy, no complaints there. We'll go ahead and get this all restocked up. As this is uh, all reloading, um, I'm, oops, almost dropped the bag of things. I'm gonna stick the extra bottles in here. That way they don't, uh, they get cold and they don't interfere with the machine. And I'll put it in my inventory that I put the full case in. Everything looks nice when that, when that column is nice and full. Sprite's looking good, root beer's good. Go ahead and get cleaned up here, and we're going to get onto the collection. I'm 
Oh, dropped a quarter. Wouldn't be a video if I didn't drop a coin. Had a decent amount of change in there. This machine did a total between cash, coins, and credit card of $56. So bringing our total to just over $130. Just about $140 for the week for these two machines. The other machine that's behind it did um, $29. Um, I can't seem to find the footage for that. I do want to thank you all for watching. Thank you and have a great day, everyone.